what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm Mordai J, and we are locked in now we are two days away from the next episode of power book two we know that Braden has a lot of pressure being put on him now especially with Tariq being on house arrest and not being able to make moves in these streets so we're going to see how he handles that dealing with Kane coming back to Tariq and making these things work but before we break this down shout out to the notification gang if you're new to the channel you'll be a part of it hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload hit that like button it's the easiest thing you can do now Braden we know how he is. We know he's in these streets. We know he gets the thrill of going out and doing all of the hood rat stuff with Kane. But now Tariq wants him to calm down. So let's jump into, will Braden fold up under pressure or will he make it happen for Tariq? We know the big issue in episode six was Tariq getting out of jail. Now, the only reason Tariq was in jail was one, because he ran his mouth too much to Lauren about everything that was going on, which gave investigator Kamal enough information because she was recording it on a Rolex. He went to search the room and the reason Tariq went to jail was because Ramirez's badge was in the drawer. Now this was placed in a drawer by Kane. And why was Kane in the room? Because he had Braden come with him to dig up a body. Now, Braden didn't have anything to do with Kane putting the badge in there. He was in the bathroom throwing up. But while Tariq was in jail, he was talking to his inner self and Kane was talking to him and telling him, you need to look at everyone around and who's pulling the strings. Now, we know that's Monet. Now, Monet told Kane to dig up the body. But what did Braden do? He went with Kane after Tariq told him, if the Tejadas come around, especially Kane, call me. Do not hang with him. But Braden, he's caught up in the hype and the thrill, and he's getting all of the excitement of going out, robbing people, doing drive-bys. He goes with Kane anyway. And this is how Tariq gets set up. So when Tariq gets out of jail, he comes and talks to Braden, like, hey, bro, did you set me up? Why were you with Kane when I told you not to do this? And Braden is saying, bro, you hasn't you haven't told me everything. So I didn't know everything that was going on. I went with Kane to make some money. We robbed some people because we're trying to get your sister out. So like I said, Braden, he isn't flipping on Tariq. Now they did have that moment where Kane was trying to get in his head and say that Tariq is his boss. But other than that, he's loyal to Tariq. And he's just trying to do anything he can to help Tariq out. So this leads Tariq into telling Braden all of the information about what went on with Ramirez along with Jabari. Now we're talking about pressure. Braden went to meet up with Kane because Kane wants Braden to be the one to run course correct with Tariq on house arrest. Now, we know that Kane is trying to show his mom, I can I can prove my worth, mom. This is what I got. Braden, the white boy, he put it together with Tariq. He knows how to run it. Now, Monet, she's iffy on it because she's looking at Braden and, you know, he has the white privilege. So he's trying to explain me being white. I could ride around with drugs. I could ride around with a body and no one's going to look at me. Now, Braden, he doesn't have the street smarts. And that's one thing Monet is looking at. And she knows Kane. He's quick to jump out there. Now, Monet, she just turns him down. She looks at Braden and says, nah, you're not ready for this street life. We're not going to do that. But Braden also brings up what was going on in Tariq being out of jail. So when Kane hears this, you hear you see him like this. So Monet's looking at him and she's like, oh, you kind of spook because with Tariq being out, he could potentially snitch. We know he's not. But then again, you never know if you can set somebody up to make a move. But Braden, he gets turned down and he's still working with Tariq. And they brought in Effie along with this. Now, the pressure that's being put on Braden is to another level. He knows about two murders now. He also knows that him, Tariq, and Effie, they're all going to be working together. Like I said, Effie is going to be the one picking up and dropping off. Braden, you're going to have to run a lot of things. And you're going to have to step up to the plate like the last video I did. It's time for Braden to step up. At first, we thought it was going to be for Kane, but now it's actually for Tariq. Because Tariq can't leave the house. Tariq can't be seen with any of this. So Braden, him and Tariq, they squashed their little beef. And now they're moving forward. And what does Tariq want them to do? Pretty much go to the house, get the photo album of Congressman Sweeney and his father, the Westons, from when they went to school. So Tariq can get Tate off of his back. Now, we do see Braden goes and picks up this photo album. But what, what do we expect to come from this? Do we think that Braden's going to allow Tariq to potentially show photos that have his father in it? Or is he going to go ahead and help out Tariq? Because, you know, him and his father, they don't see eye to eye either. We see him pick up the photo album. But like I mentioned, there's photos of his father in there also. So could this potentially damage the Weston's family? 
We're gonna have to see what Braden does. And also, I think there may be an issue if he finds out that Tariq is smashing Effie. Now, I know he's not gonna care, but he's gonna probably say, hey, Tariq, man, we need to keep this business. Just like you told me about old girl, Saxony's. Yeah, we might need to just keep this business because, man, you start mixing those relationships with business, it can get real ugly out here. All right, there you go. Will Braden fold under pressure? Me personally, I don't think so. I do think that he might slip up a little bit, but that's how it is in the power universe. Nothing ever goes according to plan. Let me know what you guys think about Braden. Is he going to fold or is he going to stand tall and make things happen for Tariq? I'm Moda J. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tune in Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern for the live after show discussion. It's a safe place. We come here, we talk about our theories, and then we break down the next week's trailer. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.